Well, the problems some students have at school are often the lead story on newscasts like this one. The people doing the hard work of turning those students' lives around are often never heard from. Well, there is a school in the triad that is celebrating 20 years of making successful adults out of the kids who other schools just couldn't handle. And that's what you'll see in tonight's Buckley Report. We would like to begin on a recent Monday morning. We're going to start with giving you back your vocabulary tests from Thursday. Kathy McLean is showing a little love to the students in her English class in Winston-Salem. The queen of vocabulary was Karen. This is the Winston-Salem Street School. About five dozen students for whom traditional public schools, for a variety of reasons, didn't work. Ask Avniel Hernandez why he's here. <sighs> That's a good question. And he'll tell a familiar tale. I feel like my home life was very bumpy, um, especially with me and my parents. It, it was very hard to focus on my schoolwork because I was smoking weed. He doesn't anymore, but other stories here are much deeper. Is it too much to say that some of these kids would not be alive if they weren't here? No, I, I don't think that's over-dramatizing it at all. A lot of them are like one of today's vocabulary words in Ms. McLean's class. Ding, 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 ding. Despondent. 15-year-old Selena Sierra is a case in point. I am now here after my suicide attempt in January. I had finally came here. What drives a young lady to something like that? I wanted so much more for myself. The academic validation I sought, I sought after very hard. Yeah, you must have been in a situation where you didn't see a way out. I did. At first I did. Here is the lab that we're going to be doing. A quote you hear often in academia these days is from educator Nicholas Ferroni and says that students who are loved at home come to school to learn. Students who aren't come to school to be loved. That might could be a tagline for the street school. I mean, really. Not all of the kids here are in that situation, but Mike Foster says far too many are, with about 80% coming from broken homes. You know, when they walk in the door every morning, we can usually tell by the look on their face if they had a good night before or had an argument with mom on the way in or, or whatever, or even more serious problems. I mean, we, we deal with some pretty weighty stuff with a lot of our kids. But the school's rate of turning those situations into success stories is quite good. If they will give us a semester um, and really try to, to put everything into it, I have about a 93% graduation rate, uh, which is pretty strong, especially when you talk about the target population of students that we work with. They're kids like Mia Scott. Yeah, Mia. Mia's right here. Who became an alcoholic when schools went virtual during the pandemic and told her story at an event for the street school recently. I was kicked out and I moved into a laundry closet. That's where I was living, um, sleeping on a beanbag. And I was suicidal every single day. Um, I remember thinking to myself, how did I get here? How did this happen? She knew she needed a diploma to make something of herself. Street school made high school so easy. My mom finding it was a blessing and a miracle, and my life will have forever be changed because of that. Now she's sober and an EMT in Forsyth County, and the street school points to more than 300 other similar cases of their graduates over these past 20 years. Why does this place work? I think the secret sauce, I guess, um, is one, the size. Uh, it's just an intimate setting. A family setting with a simple but stark message that you find all over the school. You know, we tell our students um, to never give up. I mean, and that's, you know, that I don't want to oversimplify it, but that really is what it's about. Because you can be surprised at what you're capable of when you're shown a little love. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. The Winston-Salem Street School is a private school that works mostly off donations from the public and volunteer work from many of its faculty and staff. It's on 6th Street, just west of downtown Winston-Salem.